Believe it or not, flooding is the deadliest type of severe weather. There's probably a lot about floods and flooding you don't know. Flooding kills people in every region of the world. The count of flood deaths is highest in Southern Asia and Eastern Asia. According to recent studies an increased occurrence of such events due to climate change and global warming is highly likely. Floods cause more than $40 billion in damage worldwide annually, according to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. In the U.S., losses average close to $8 billion a year. Most floods develop over the course of hours or days, but flash floods rise quickly and often without warning, which is why they are so dangerous. We will not get enough time to safely reposition our items from the ground floor of our house to upper floors or any other safe areas. If the flood water enters, it will destroy all the electrical and electronic items and also cause serious damage to furnitures and utensils. A flood event leads to complete upheaval of your life and usually means moving out of the property for several months while the cleanup and repair is complete. If you live in a flood-prone area that seems to get flooded on occasion, it may be smart to either build a fortress of sandbags around your home or start to invest in some easy ways to protect your home from flood water. Conventional methods such as sandbags are cumbersome and fail to provide adequate protection in most cases. Flood barriers act as flood control devices to protect your property, reducing your cleanup, damage and insurance claims. The barriers are demountable, which means they are stored away in normal conditions and only deployed in a flood warning. Removable flood barriers are engineered to provide similar levels of protection to permanent flood defenses, but with the advantage of being fully removable when not required. Some temporary defenses are inflatable, others are modular meaning they can be linked together to create a barrier, whilst others use the weight of the water to form the barrier. Here we are watching the installation and removal of a temporary barrier with latest technology. There are many types of temporary barriers available with different sizes and mechanisms. Temporary flood barriers is a rapid deployment flood protection system, which is low cost and effective for residential properties. It is robust and flexible for commercial and industrial premises too. The flood barrier can be installed on a single door or joined together to create a flood wall or used to create a bund around a key asset. This flexibility allows for solutions to be tailored to your requirements and makes flood barriers a popular solution for commercial and residential buildings. This also means your barrier is always manufactured, bespoke to your property. They are of steel, plastic, or other heavy material. You place them into your door or window frame, on the outside of your existing door or window, with a unique frame that will keep water from seeping under or around your doors and windows. Door flood barriers are generally 3 feet in height, but taller options are available. Before using the flood door barrier, one should make sure that there is no more entry points for the flood water to enter into that house. The vent guards can be used there. The vent guard is designed to protect vulnerable breathing points on a building, for example air bricks and gas vents on the exterior of buildings. Once sighted it takes just seconds to operate the unique bung securing system. Fully protecting a home from flooding is a significant undertaking. Temporary barriers may redirect the water away from your home's entrances and restricts water from entering room only if our house is fully airtight. It oftentimes involves more than temporary barriers or flood planks. In fact, it usually requires special considerations when it comes to the infrastructure of your home, including the foundation, walls, electrical components, HVAC, plumbing systems, etc.